me try the jeans. I have a wedge. I got some nice jeans, they're petite. Dude, you're not gonna call these petite, dude. I swear she uses incorrect words on purpose, man. How in what world can you ever define Foodie Beauty as petite? I think, like, uh, around this time, she was probably chilling around, like, 400 pounds or around that. So, like, a little bit more, a little bit less. But you know what's really, really sad is that when I see people, like, when I see Foodie Beauty, right, she exuberates so much personality so often. Like, everything she does is so imbued in herself. And that's really, really great. I like it when people are themselves. And I like it when people are really comfortable in themselves because it's very rare for people nowadays, especially because mostly everybody doesn't have social interactions and everybody stays inside nowadays. And slowly but surely, IRL life is turning more and more into internet life so it, it's like the transition is, is it's like you know it's very jarring right so when i see somebody that actually does have personality i always like to emphasize that a little bit but where she is now like in kuwait with her husband the person that she's married to or at least that's what people say she's married to i don't know if it's like a factual statement or whatever um i don't know if it's like a, ba a big elaborate illusion or something i have no idea but from what I understand, it is her husband, and because that is her husband, she's uh, very, very conservative around him. Like, she's almost never saying the things that she used to be able to say, like, even three, four years ago um, when she was in Canada and when she was in the West. And I think that's probably because she is in the Middle East and also because she's also, like, married, too. And it really sucks because I loved Foodie Beauty when she was so open because she has so much to give. Um, but nowadays, it just all she seems to be giving now is zero fucks about the diet, which is always something that she always did. So, Damn, turning them inside out, too, is crazy. Damn, that thing's big. But you know what? At least Foodie Booty can wear jeans, dude. Look at Amberlynn Reed and see if she's ever worn jeans in like the last 20 years, bro. So this is this is definitely a, uh, I mean, it's, it's a low bar. It's a low bar to be like, oh, you can wear jeans, but it's still a bar nonetheless. These are boyfriend cut jeans. Boyfriend cut. I lost my phone today. I left it in the bath, the public washroom. I had to run all the way back. I'm so hot and sweaty. <laughs> That was crabby. <laughs> Let me know what you guys, like, how, how often have you lost your phone? I've known people that have lost, like, AirPods, and those are, like, really, really easy to leave leave around and just forget about them. Even, like, the tabs, and like, the actual AirPods themselves, those are extremely easy to lose. I know a girl that lost, like, four pairs of AirPods, no joke, in the period of, like, three years. And she keeps buying them and keeps buying them because, like, these Apple products, like, yes, Apple has like an ecosystem and like it encourages you to stay in the ecosystem. But you would think like after you lose the AirPods as many times as you have, and then also the Apple OS sucks so much ass in general. Like, don't get me wrong. If you want to use Apple products, it's fine. But like you have to at least acknowledge to a certain degree that like it's very predatory. They're trying to keep you there. But I knew this girl and she was she lost these AirPods like four times. And I remember one time I was picking up somebody from the airport, right? And there was a girl that like got off the plane and then she said that she had lost her AirPods in the previous like state. And uh, she was like, oh, they're, they're in over like Nebraska or something like that. And I was like, oh, damn, that fucking sucks. I live in <laughs> Massachusetts, dude. Like she ain't getting those back, dude. And she like called up the other airport like, can you get these for me? When are you coming back? Like a month from now, dude? Like what are you talking? Like sure, we'll put them in like the basket for when you come back. But I don't think I've ever lost my phone ever in my entire life. Like ever. Um, I'm usually really, really good about keeping my stuff on me and like always in good condition. So it's always really weird to me when I see people that go like, oh yeah, I've lost my phone or I cracked my phone or I lost my AirPods or I lost this and this and this. One of the great things about not having AirPods is like I use these and you can't really lose wires. And then also these are like 10 bucks. So, I mean, there's really not much value in these. And then, you know, I'm not feeling too bad. It's like buying a really, really bad starter car. You know, when people like buy cars for the first time. And everybody buys like a really, really beat up piece of shit like automobile. And then you get inside and you get into a crash, which you're probably going to. You don't feel that bad because it's ass already. So it's like whatever. But it's the same thing here. Like if I lose these, it's like whatever, man. I get crabby. I don't know if you'll be able to see the jeans, Ooh. but I have, a I have a moose knuckle from my thongs. Damn. But the receipt got stuck in my butt. Oh. oh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> You guys ever hear that Doja Cat song where where she goes like, all the dudes want to know how long it takes to pull my pants up, broke a fingernail, and then some? I don't think that 
when she was saying that. I don't think that she imagined that girl like Foodie Beauty doing that exact same thing. Because, um, you know, the, the, the quote of the song is like, if you can see it from the front, you can see it from the back. This is true. Like, if you could see it from the front, I mean, wait till you see it from the back. I don't want to see it from the back. I don't want. I don't want to see it from the front. But um, I think it's just interesting because I was just listening to that song and I thought it was like it's interesting, bro. Because Foodie Beauty is a very beautiful specimen of human being, but this this whole like thing that's going on right now is very very concerning and gross. She's just so open, dude. The belly. How high up are these like underwear supposed to go? Like this would be the equivalent of like okay so like would it have to be up here like if i was to stand up how far up does this shit go man like if i were to wear those do they have do they go up over here or do they stop down here because my underwear stop right here and like that's my that's my waist hers go like up and around bro they're so high up and like they were already really low too um you know what i'm talking about like there was so much extra on the bottom and when I see, like, really, really big people underwear, I always go, like, damn, they're so wide and they're so long because you have to accompany so much extra weight inside of those things. I'm pulling them on. They're, I think they're petite. <laughs> what do you mean petite, first of all? Like, it's such a weird word to use when it comes to pants. Dude, your gut is literally protruding out of them. Usually, you tuck in the stomach, but... <laughs> Dude, that side profile is crazy, dude. Look at this fucking, look at this pose, man. This is what God imagined when he created man. Look at, look at the beauty of this. But like, you can't keep calling these petite. That'd be like me calling, I don't even know. Just, this would be like me calling Optimus Prime like a, a, a Prius or something. Like, you can't do it. It's not the same thing. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, we can see a lot. Dude, what you mean? We don't know if we can see. We can see everything. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Or no? <laughs> Damn, what are you fucking eating with this giant <laughs> Why would you ever? I feel like this is the most impractical device to use when you're eating. Like, in general. In food? Dude, like, there's no... When, usually when you when you scoop up with a spoon, the spoon is thin, so you can get a good amount of food onto the spoon. Look how thick... Look how thick the, the, the width of this spoon is, dude. It's got to be at least an inch, right? No, not an inch. Not an inch? Maybe half an inch. Like a half an inch of, uh, of just girth. You're not going to be able to scoop this up. Also, the wig era, I'm seeing a little bit of mustache, actually, dude. Seeing a little bit of mustache. I don't know if that's from the Kool-Aid she was drinking earlier, but the wig era was um, be the, the best day ever, dude. I, I, the, the, that, the, that was my favorite era of Foodie Beauty. I just really wish that she would still be on that, dude. What is this, a shower curtain? Why do you have... Why? What, what are these rings? Why are they tied up? Don't they... These look like shower curtain rings. So... So I have this little kit that and I made. I, you're not going to be able to put this in your mouth either, right? It has like a thing of Clorox wipes, thing of hand sanitizer, some rubber gloves, and my face mask. And it's a reusable face mask, so I wash it every night, but then I put, there's like filters, reusable filters, and... Put it in your mouth. Damn. I'm surprised, dude. She got that. I needed to get my grandmother some things. I'm only trying to see her like once a week, if that, you know? Damn. And I think it's been long enough that I can go see her. I don't stay. I just bring her her stuff. She sanitizes with wipes after, whatever. We're being very careful is my point, okay? Damn, dude. I'm actually really surprised she's able to open her mouth wide enough to get that entire spatula into her throat. That's crazy, dude. But then again, I'm not even really... Like, what is she eating on a cutting board? Is this a cutting board, dude? Why does she gotta be so weird on everything that she eats, dude? What is this bowl, first of all? This thing is massive, dude. Like a giant fish bowl of chicken of some kind? Like sweet and sour chicken? Is that what that is? Rice? Like why is it so why is everything so massive, dude? If you've been keeping up with Foodie Beauty, she wears a hijab now, dude. That thing is really doing a lot of work for her, dude. Given the fact that she has this ginormous double chin, dude. Nowadays, you almost never see that. And also, people have been keeping me really up to date and keeping up, up to date on the tea. She uses a lot of filters. And I don't know what's up with people, so many people nowadays using filters. Because, like, dude, if you use filters, right, what if you do something IRL? Like, what if you meet up with somebody or, like, you do a podcast with somebody or somebody invites you onto their channel or whatever the fuck, right? It's literally anything at all. Not even anything to do with social media. What if you just meet up with somebody in your real life and they go, 
I'm going to meet up with Foodie Beauty. And then you meet up with her and you're like, dude, you look nothing alike. Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, put filters on my fucking eyeballs? She looks completely different compared to what she looks like now. Like, here, she looks like she's 10 years older than she is now. And that's because she uses filters. And I know she uses filters because I've seen videos of her eating. And I've seen the filter try to, like, latch onto her mouth. And it, like, open and close and stuff like that. And the food will try to be filtered itself. It's so weird. So, like, I see too many people nowadays using filters. I see so many people nowadays, like, it's it's the new age makeup. And I guess people don't realize that, dude, that shit's impractical. Because if you're on any other platform or, like, what if the what if the filter just fails? Because you're, you're fundamentally just running off of a software, right? Like, that shit is basically making you who you are. That shit can, eventually, if it does break, you're fucked. People are going to look at you, <gasps> what the fuck happened to you, booty booty? Why do you look like 40 years older than you were yesterday? Hmm. I just want to know who's watching this as well. Like, just a big woman eating rice and sweet and sour chicken on a cutting board with a ginormous spatula eating out of a fishbowl. Like, what is the appeal to this? Oh, man. Yeah, why are you out of breath from eating it, too? Well, you know, Foodie Beauty has, like, a very bad problem with respiratory issues. I don't know how many, like, it's, this, is, this video is from, like, two years ago, I think, or, like, a year ago. Dude, she has so many respiratory issues here, and even now, like, watching her today struggle to walk upstairs or, like, even walk for a more than a few minutes without being completely winded, like, having, literally, I've seen her walk, like, maybe 40 steps, and her go, <sighs> trying to intake as much oxygen as possible, dude. Who's recording this? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god damn! God damn! Why does it look like that? I'm not gonna say anything, dude. I'm not gonna say what I'm I'm questioning about, dude. But there's a lot. Dude, why does it look like it shouldn't be there? What the fuck? What? It doesn't follow the natural shape of a... Okay, whatever, man. It's weird, right? It's weird. Why does it look like that? It's like a shelf. It's like it's like a, it's like a, a, a Lego block. You know, like you just... You know? I, I don't know why it's so square. But she... I, I'll, I'll appreciate the Uggs. What are you doing? Is she take what is she farting? Ah! Ramona? Ramona? Let's try it with I'm guessing that was some kind of skit that we didn't see. <laughs> I'm guessing that was a skit that we didn't see uh fully. It just kind of looked like she squatted over to take a shit in the side of the road. I don't fucking know. I wouldn't be surprised, dude. I've literally heard Foodie Beauty say that she had cream pies performed on her for war Big Macs and shit, so I don't know. God damn, look at this fucking woman, dude. Look at the fucking girth, man. I mean, honestly speaking, what, dude, she stay eating with these spatulas, dude. I don't know what she's doing. I used to do this when I was like a younger man. I used to have this really, really small fork. And I thought it was real cool to eat everything with this really, really small fork. It was, it was really small. I think somebody told me it was made for salads or something like that back in the 1800s. But I loved it and I lost it. I don't know where it is anymore. So feel bad for me. I don't have a fork anymore. But um, rice rice crab ragu teenage mutant ninja turtle nut and uh some kind of chicken with some other stuff oh obviously the pita bread damn she looks really crazy here dude she does not look like this today this is my favorite stuff what is this that Kellogg paneer <laughs> oh, yes. oh, that shit is not for mm. anybody if you double dip it like this this is enough food for like three people man e easily three people maybe even four Oh, whoo, damn. Mm. You know what I, you know what I don't understand? If you're going to eat like this consistently, why does it even matter if you have one of these? Just put a bib on and then afterwards just take a shower. It would be less work. Made a bite. Little town, it's a quiet village. Why is she Every looking day, like this, dude? Like the one before. Little town. Full of little people. It's not bad. Waking up to say. Bonjour. 
it, it's not bad. I'll give her that, dude. Oh, bro, this is my favorite one she's ever worn, dude. She looks like what's her name from Pulp Fiction? Uma Thurma's character. She she killed it. I'll give her that. She killed it, dude. This looks pretty good. I'll give her that. She put a a, a for effort on this. You'll be a woman soon. <laughs> Please come take my hand. Isn't that from Kill Bill? Is she trying to play? Who is she trying to play as, dude? Uma Therma or is she trying to play as the wife? Like, which which one, dude? The one from Pulp Fiction or... Am I wrong? Is that not from the that, the different movie, dude? I've, I've, I've watched almost every single Quentin Tarantino movie. Okay, because there's not many of them. It's like, what, eight or seven or something like that? This is, is... Am I wrong in saying that? Isn't this, like, from Kill Bill? Am I wrong? Oh, hello. You must be who my husband, Marcellus Wallace. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Asked to take me out for a good time. That was a weird, that was a weird section in the movie, right? Like, I remember first watching that movie, and I was like, bro, like, your wife is fucking home alone, and then you decide that you're gonna ask John Travolta's character, who's a hunk, by the way. Fucking John Travolta in the 90s was, like, a nine, okay? He was really, really attractive. I don't care what anybody says, Okay. He was attractive, okay? I know he wasn't as attractive as he was in the 70s when he was like Vinny Bomberino or whatever the fuck he was, okay? Or he was in Saturday Night Live or whatever, Saturday Night Fever. But still, he was very attractive, dude. And then this guy's like, yeah, bro, go take my wife out. I remember when I first watched that movie, I was like, so like, are you saying that you want this guy to have sex with your wife? Like, is that what I'm hearing, bro? Because if a guy hit me, I was like, hey, dude, my, my wife is like really, really bored. And I just don't have time to take her out. Can you, can you take her to this, like, uh, whatever you think is really cool, like, whatever you want to do, matter of fact, you'll probably just take her to, like, that really cool rock and roll place where people dress up as, like, you know, uh, like, old rock stars from the 1950s or whatever, can you go do that for me, actually, I'm just, I'm so busy, by the way, I'm just like, oh, so busy, and then I think, you want me to have sex with your wife, right, that's what you're telling me, like, that, that'd be the next follow-up question, like, do you just, you want me to have sex with her, like, it's Uma Therma, right, okay, no problem, like, I don't, like, yeah, that's fine with me, dude, like, consensuality, fine, dude, as long as she's okay with it, I'm no problem at all, but that's not what happened in the movie, I, I thought it was weird, though, am I the only one that thought that was what was gonna happen, like, when John Travolta came out, I thought he was just gonna whip out dick, and be like, yeah, I got, I got a fucking, a restaurant that you can dine at, and just whip out his dick, or some shit like that, and start dancing around, or whatever, do his, like, you know, I don't know, whatever, dude, but I thought that was really weird. Wasn't that a weird point in the movie? No? Maybe I'm wrong, dude. I don't know, man. Well. Such a disservice, by the way, to dress up as Uma Thurma like this, dude. I remember one time I was watching a uh, a cosplay convention, right? And there was, like, a Star Wars cosplay convention. And the cosplays were so good, dude. And there was um, a Count Dooku. And there was a John Grievous, okay? And then there was a Asajj Ventress. And Asajj Ventress in the show is like 110 pounds like i swear she's so incredibly light and i saw this woman that was dressed up as uh asajj ventress and this woman had to have weighed 300 pounds bro that shit was insane and sometimes i think like i understand like you want to be asajj ventress like i want to be anakin skywalker the most handsome beautiful man in all of star wars but dude i don't look like him i'm not handsome like him okay i don't have the facilities for that same way that if you're, like, two or three times bigger than, like, the character that you're portraying, it just might not be in the cards for you, you know? I just, I don't know why so many people want to play characters that they obviously cannot play because you're just not that guy. And it's okay to not be that guy. There's plenty of other characters that you could dress up as. Dress up as, like, a Wookiee or something like that. I guess it's not, it's, like, it's not as favorable, but still. Like, what do you want, dude? You're 300 fucking pounds. Like, the, your whole life. It's gonna look weird. Same thing out here. Uber Thermo was like 110 pounds in that movie. Fucking Booty Booty's like 400 here. What are you doing? Why? Why are you so big? Out of all the characters? I don't care, Bear. Whatever, man. I was thinking we could head over to Jack Rabbit Slim's for a burger and a shake. What do you think? That's the only shake you ever see fuck a Foodie Beauty ever get, bro. Let's get to. Let's get to. exercise man what a what a beautiful exercise regiment right here just bouncing on the uh the good old chair dude i hope she i hope there was nobody nobody below her dude i hope nobody was living below her dude but at least she was doing something i mean granted i don't know how many calories this is burning but it's got to be something oreo mcflurry 
By the way, those are about a thousand calories. What is that a five piece? Damn, dude. She got the. If you're going to Mickey D's and you're getting a Big Mac, you're doing yourself a disservice. Get yourself a QP. That's way better. Same calories. Fruitopia. Which strawberry Fruitopia? That hair on life support, dude. Sauces, Big Mac sauce, everything. You got. So yeah. So let's get two. Let's get two. Most sauces are basically just glorified mayo. It's just salty mayo. I'm, I'm sick of people thinking that it's anything extra. It's not. It's just salty mayo, dude. Um, everything here is probably. Let me just add it up real quick. Uh, I think this is probably like 200, 300 calories. Big Mac, easily 500. Large fry, 500. Uh, the sauces, fuck the sauces. That you can add them in if you want to, but they're probably like 100 calories, maybe 200 calories. The McFlurry. Crazy as fuck. A thousand calories. Don't lie to me. It's probably like at bare minimum, it's like 500. But I'm pretty sure it's like a thousand. I don't know what she said this is, but I'm just going to say 500. So let's just say at the bare minimum, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 is 2,500 calories. 20, 20 to 2,500 calories. For, for what? For what? For obesity, dude. For absolutely obesity. <laughs> you're probably like, geez, you're such in a bad mood. Oh, uh, I didn't think she was going to put the sauces on, dude. I never put the sauces on. Maybe this is just me. Because I always think about it in my perspective. Like, would I go to Mickey D's and would I get a quarter pound? Would I get a, would I get a Big Mac? No. Would I go to Mickey D's and would I get a, would I get a McFlurt? No. Would I go to Mickey D's and get a six piece? No. Would I go to Mickey D's and get the fry? Yeah, probably. But I wouldn't put sauce on it. I just wouldn't. Maybe ketchup, but I wouldn't put the ketchup on it. I would just have it on the side. So, like, I'm always thinking about it in the perspective of, like, what would I do? I'm going to stop doing that because these people are obviously not me. These people are, like, outside the realm of normality when it comes to their eating habits. So, like, I got to stop doing that. I'm not. I'm going to be excited to get to my new place. So, I have, like, a good oh, filming damn. area. That triple. Man, that's cr – I'm sorry, dude. Whenever I see big people eat and they take that initial bite and they close their eyes when they do it – by the way, these are just – mcdonald's fries like granted they are probably the better fries compared to like most other fast food places but again very low quality fries Place. man like they make so these I things in like thousands right area. peep this the tongue out all right and then the food goes in i love it when people stick out their tongue i'm not judging you if you stick out your tongue when you eat i don't i'm better than you and then when she puts it in her mouth watch the satisfaction wow you see that eye close man Taking that first initial bite, it's like heaven, dude. It's like that first time that mankind was blessed with fire, dude. That satisfaction of knowing that now you don't have to eat or like suck the bone marrow anymore out of the fucking the scraps, the remnants, and the guy that like the guy next to you doesn't have to die of dysentery anymore because when he ate that meat the other time, it had a it had a tapeworm in it, and he died three weeks later after he ate that shit, you know. But you probably didn't even know what a tapeworm was. What? Damn, dude, go fucking chew. Oh, sorry. Beauty bite. So, what, is, what, what even is a beauty bite? Is it just literally just announcing that you're about to take a bite of something and then bite it, and then before you do, just say beauty bite? Is that all it is? Because that's not really anything. That's just you biting food and saying right something before it. Like you're like a Pokemon or something. Right now, my room is so cluttered. That's my project. Of the Who's day. in the shower? You guys hit a shower in the back, dude. Somebody in the shower, dude. Who's in the shower? Foodie Beauty got a... Foodie Beauty got a man? Foodie Beauty got a young man in the shower? Who who she got in there? And why is he taking a shower, dude? That's what I want to know. I want my clothes clean so I can pack what I'm not wearing right now. Build up an appetite. Alright, slow down on the fries. And what I'm the fuck you... shorts. <laughs> They're riding up. Mm. Oh, I thought she wiped off her shorts. So just an update. Damn, bro, she looking big as fuck. In underwear, I love having underwear. What? These are because underwear on the table that you're eating your food on. I don't have enough like really big, comfy underwear. Like a lot of them are like not high brief. So what? I hate that they like roll down when I'm like walking. So. God damn. God. Damn. Damn, that shit's shoulder width. Damn, bro. Woo. Them things is wide and long. Wow. Yeah, that's that's a big. That's big. That's real big. You know what really gets me about women is like, I don't know why. 
like women have to buy underwear a lot bro like i remember i knew a girl and she would have to buy underwear like every four weeks and i've been wearing the same underwear for three years not like straight but you know obviously i wash underwear and i have the same type of underwear like when i go in and i think any man will tell you the same thing because like underwear really doesn't matter but most dudes if they need new underwear they'll go i'm just gonna go to the underwear section and i'm gonna find my size and i'm gonna buy like three packs of those and like if the colors don't matter or whatever i don't even know what color these are let me see these are gray but like most of my underwear is the same brand the same colors and I just buy three or four packs of that, and that will last me three or four years because I don't care. I don't. I, why does it matter? Like, if you know what I'm talking about, I have underwear with holes in them. I still wear because it doesn't matter. They're underwear. They're not. They're only supposed to serve one purpose. They're just supposed to keep your nutsack not touching your leg. And I see women a lot. Like I remember I was talking to this girl. She was like, "Oh, my underwear have holes in them." I was like, "Yeah." And she was like, "I just bought them." And I was like, "Where did you buy them? Like, what? Where? Where are you buying these underwear that have holes? I'm buying like the most low quality underwear you could possibly buy. Like, I'm I'm literally going to like the forbidden floor, and I'm finding the ones that are two dollars for six underwear, and they last me years. And on that like three year mark, maybe there'll be a hole in it because I pulled too hard on the lace and it ripped. Right? Maybe. But sometimes I talk to women, and they're like. Yep, my underwear has like five holes in them. I'm like, dude, what are you doing, first of all, that has that many holes? What are you like fucking fencing your underwear? Why do they have that many holes? And I have no idea why they just burn out so quickly when it comes to women. I get it. Vaginal fluids and stuff like that. Like my, my I don't have that because I have an, a, a penis. But still, like what is going on? Can somebody please tell me why underwear deteriorates so fast around women and guys can literally wear the same underwear for like decades? Anyway couple pairs of black i got two pairs like this big as fuck <laughs> showing you my did she not like feel anything about the fact that her underwear are like this like four times the size of her head her pants i got polka dot ones damn polka dot underwear <laughs> all four yeah it's really this this entire environment is serious dude think about this right this is a 400 pound woman chilling eating some food in the middle of the night sriracha on a table right next to the underwear you just bought and you're showing people the underwear you have a ring light that's not even on i hear the gray ones oh man to cover my big booty gray i like gray underwear i don't know why and another pair of the black so damn bro that's like that's like a normal person's underwear that's like if this was four pairs of underwear let's say that would be the equivalent of like 12 pairs of underwear for a normal person. You get what I'm talking about? Because there's so much fabric there that you could probably make fucking 8 to 12 other underwears from that shit. Insane. And a yeah, solid that's Pepsi. That's my haul. <laughs> Pretty exciting, eh? She's a, a YouTuber who has double my subscribers. 122,000 subscribers that's fine um some people think i'm just jealous <sighs> i'm not jealous of somebody having more subscribers than me especially not since the only reason they have so many subscribers is because they talk about me and amberlynn um or that they are on this weight loss journey so damn why are you bro I, I just, I'm so sorry, but whenever I see Foodie Beauty, I don't know why she has to take a breath in between sentences. You're not saying very much at all to, for you to, in the middle of the sentence, go, so I was here, and we went over to here, and then, by the way, we went and made sure that we got, like, why is there so much breath in everything that you're saying? And I know why, because she's diabetic through the, through, through the roof, and then also... She has to walk around with, you know, I don't know, an extra 300 pounds on her body at any given point in time. Like, I get it. It's tough. But, dude, I, I, it's so annoying to hear somebody talk and then hear that, like, in the middle of every fucking sentence, dude. Just take, please, dude, get your fucking health in order. It should not be this difficult for you to get breath control. That's the thing. This person criticizes Amberlynn and I. Why doesn't she call them out? Like, who is this person, first of all? I, I, man, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it when people say this. Like, don't get me wrong. It's fine not to say, like, your friend's family and all this other stuff names, right? Like, whatever. 
if somebody wants to maintain their privacy, then don't talk about them. That's fine. You could say like this person, that's okay. But if somebody's already in the public eye and you're talking about somebody going like, oh, it's a YouTuber and they're doing this and they're doing this, dude, that person's already out there and they're making videos on you. Call them the fuck out, you know, name and shame, dude. I'm sick of people being pussies. Fucking say their name, dude. Say it. In all her videos, mostly Amberlynn, um, because people like to use Amberlynn as a B. Oh, the uh, the black girl, dude. What what the the Charlie Cole, right? That's what they. That's what she called her, the Charlie Cole girl, <laughs> right? That's this is that whole like thing where she was calling her Charlie Cole because her name was like Charlie Gold, right? And I remember like when I first heard that, I was like Charlie Cole, like why? It doesn't even rhyme with gold. But then people told me that she was saying that because. You can turn gold into diamonds or something like that? Coal into diamonds? I don't know. I don't know what the thought process was there. But a lot of people presume that it was a racist thing. And at first, she said that it wasn't racist. And that's fine. Like, you can make a mistake. You can say, like, oh, I didn't know there was, like, a racial undertone when I was calling this person Charlie Cole. Because, you know, they're black. Because they're black. And then um, she apologized for it. But then she, then she called her it again. Which is crazy. Like, you can't. You can't say something wrong somebody calls you out on it you go oh man damn yeah i was wrong my bad anyway let me do it again like you can't do that like <laughs> that just completely fundamentally negates the entire you, you 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 saying sorry is basically useless at that point as a beating post on youtube and let's just face it that's just what it is whether she, what no matter what she's done in the past she's still a person and people like to use her as a beating post so um, but I'll be in the videos once in a while. One video in particular, she made fun of my tent size underwear. <laughs> so I'm three, uh, 387 pounds. Okay. She was bigger than me at one point. I'm pretty sure she was bigger than me. And recently what interest sparked this, these feelings is that a video, uh, a video went around and it has her mug shot, which is from 2019 of her. And I don't really give a shit if she's been arrested. I don't care about all, that's none of my business. What I was interested in is her weight on the mugshot. And it was like 310 pounds or something like that. I've seen people say, well, at least she's still 70 pounds lighter than you. It doesn't matter. She's still morbidly obese and she's been bigger than me, which means she has, she is struggling still. She's not thin. She's not a, a, a epitome of health. She's still somebody who struggles with weight issues. And so what's so what's the synopsis here? Like, what what does this mean? So like, if somebody is if somebody is not the picture of perfection, or somebody doesn't reach a lower like what to what degree does somebody need to lose weight before they can critique another person for that same problem? Like, how does that work exactly, dude? That's like somebody going, well, a millionaire shouldn't comment on my 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 monetary value like they shouldn't comment on how i spend my money because they're not a billionaire like how far does it go exactly like where 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 do we stop do they need to be under 200 pounds do they need to be in the 100s like 100 what exactly to where can they go to where they can now actually comment on that i think it's i mean i see i see where she's coming from i get it she's basically saying because she's fat she has no right to talk about what I, what my problems are, given that she is still struggling with the same problems that I'm struggling with, even though it's slightly less than mine. Like, I get it. I do understand it. But that's dumb. That's like, that's like somebody saying like, oh, your boobs are slightly smaller than mine. Therefore, you can't comment on this because my boobs are bigger than your boobs. Like, how does this work? You know what I'm talking about? Like, you that doesn't make sense. And for her to comment on the size of my underwear or to fat shame me, or Amberlynn is just ridiculous. And because she's fat herself? So is it more justified for somebody to be thinner and fat shame you as opposed to somebody that's fatter and fat shame you? If anything, I feel like it'd be better if it was a fatter person, right? Because at least then that person maybe has a little bit more validity since they've been through the same struggle and they can maybe understand it a little bit more since they have the experience. No? Because a thin person, like for instance myself, I've never been that size and I have no like, experience on that particular front so when i comment on stuff like that i'm looking at it through the realm of like no experience i'm looking at it from like anecdotal evidence from other people and like facts that i can derive from from other places externally but for these people it would be internally like they can see it 
And that's always been what I had an issue with. But why? You know what I mean? No. Okay. Uh, that that doesn't make any sense at all. There would be a point if it was a thinner person. Like, if it was a thinner person, like, oh, you don't get it. You don't understand it. But even then, that wouldn't make sense. But this person's literally been through it. Like, okay, whatever. Guys, I'm hyper today. You're going to get it. <laughs> I feel so good. I feel uh, cleaned out because Ooh. TMI. But uh, I spent all night in the bathroom because of that... Ugh, I can't even think of the broccoli without feeling sick. That did a number on my digestive system. Word of the day, digestive system. So I look greasy. I can't even imagine, like, because Foodie Beauty eats really garbage shit consistently. And around this time, she was eating, like, the most garbage shit she possibly had. Because I think she was making a lot of money at the time. So... She had a lot of time to just devour as much as she absolutely wanted to. I couldn't even imagine the plumber being called up like every week, dude. That dude's on retainer. Like he's just permanently outside the door just waiting on a chair. I don't know, playing Angry Birds on his tablet or something like that. That foodie beauty probably gave to him in order to like reimburse him for all the traumas and tribulation that he had to go through in order to like cleanse out that toilet. Because I couldn't imagine eating the way that she does. And you having a solid bowel movement in any particular time in place, dude. This woman gets like zero fiber. This woman is literally 90% carbs. The rest of it's like, I mean, I w she's getting some she's getting some protein. But most of this shit is like either deep fried or uh, a lot of carbs. So I know for a fact that toilet must be blown to fuck up. It's because I was using, I am using this vitamin enzyme mask. Mary Ruth. What what are you what is this on you though? What what is this? Is this a blanket of some kind? Why does it have an eye? Why do you have this? I'm gonna give it a try. See if it works. And I have here, you guys haven't seen this llama in a while. Um, it's not Barack Obama anymore. It is now called Lewis after Daniel Day Lewis. Um, okay. Don't come for me if Daniel Day Lewis has been in any scandals. That I don't, I don't know. I don't pay attention to celebrity gossip or celebrity news. So I don't know. But uh, yeah, so I have Sam here. Big bum. Uh, so yeah, so I had, I don't know if it's because I was like dehydrated, but in the middle of the night I had um, some bad leg cramps. So okay. I got up and I drank uh, some coconut water. Okay. And that actually seemed to really help. So if you have leg cramps, try that. Sure. Um... Yeah, help. I don't know. So anyway, I'm going to go in the shower and get ready. No, I'm not getting ready for Pete's and his birthday. It's Pete's birthday today. I forgot to tell you that. Brother, what a, what a, what a, what a crazy series of events. Starting the video saying you blew up a toilet and then say your face, your face is greasy because you put something on your face and then tell people you're going to take a shower right after that. What's the point of putting this on your face? Aren't you slugging? Isn't that what that is? Where you like coat your face with a material to try to like imbue your, your face with whatever that is, but it only works if it stays on for a long period of time. I don't know. What are we even talking about right now? All right, guys, that's going to be the end of the video here. I hope everybody enjoyed today's video. And if you did, uh, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. So if you could do any of that stuff for me, I would appreciate you tremendously. I want to point out everybody that's a subscriber or a member. You guys are amazing, beautiful, spectacular, awesome people that are all those things and then some. Every single good word you can use to describe you and a few bad ones, you guys are all of those. Um, but anyway... We do live streams on the channel, by the way. Uh, I think any day between Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We do all those days live stream usually. And I'm usually live around 6 p.m. So if you want to check out the live streams or you want to join in and just talk, we, we do a whole bunch of things on live stream. So if you want to come in and chill, you can. Um, if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in coupon because I have a whole bunch of them and they're mostly useless. Like sometimes you ever go to the grocery store and they give you the coupons right at the end and you're like, oh, wow, I can probably use these. Right. And you look at the stuff and you're like, I don't even know why you would ever give me this coupon. Like, you know, sour cream. Like, what am I going to do with this? You know, or uh, what I really get right is little Debbie. Sometimes I'll get little, little, little Debbie's off or ketchup when I don't need ketchup. And it's so weird. Like, I'm not going to go out of my way, buy more ketchup. when I have like two or three cases of ketchup at my house. Like, what am I gonna, I'm not that dumb, but I get coupons a lot that are like literally useless. But anyway, you know something that's not useless? You. You're not useless. You're amazing. And you have so much drive in life. You have so much aptitude. You have so much greatness and potential to make yourself feel and do goodness in your life. And I love that. I really love that. I really love you. I know you're a special person. And I, I, uh, 
I care for you deeply. I really do. You're an amazing person. So anyway, guys, um, we're going to end the video here. Uh, if you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, Twitter, Discord. All those things will be listed in the channel description and the description of this channel. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.